The Oresteia by Aeschylus. Agamemnon, a new version by Simon Scarterfield. I know you're waiting, Achilles. I'm coming. We'll be married. But then why do you have to leave? Love, let me get one last look at you. I have to go. Father's waiting. My little baby girl. I belong to Achilles now. Maybe if this wind keeps blowing the way it is, they'll never go to Troy. The wind's going to turn. They'll be sailing by tonight, Father says. So the wedding has to be now, on the beach. I'm ready. That dress you look... Is yellow all right? Dazzling. You're like the first daisy. I've never seen anything so beautiful. (laughs) Will father like it? He'll melt. So will Achilles. Agamemnon is waiting. (gasps) (gasps) Goodbye. Kiss my little brother for me. Don't look so sad. I'll be back. But I'll be different. I'll be a woman. Goodbye, my love. Go back to Greece, you bastard. Leave us alone. Who are you running from? Quiet. There are two of them out there. Greeks? Yes. Don't make a sound. How's your hair so neat? All brushed. I have sand in it. Just stay still. When I went to them, they took me by the hand. Your dress. They told me to be calm. It's so clean. Your neck. There's blood coming from your neck. What did they do to you? I thought it had all gone. There was so much of it on the sand. What sand? On the beach, where my father was. You mustn't meet him. Or my mother. Don't let him take you back to her. What are you talking about? Don't enter Clytemnestra's palace. Clytemnestra? Who are you? There she is. Come on, you. Don't touch the girl. I thought she was on her own. Don't touch her. She is. She's talking to nobody. Looks like a wild one. Where did she go? You're not on your own, sweetheart. We're Greeks. Ah. You lost. Ah. You get to do what we say. Come on. Ah. Ah! 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 Amazing view. Mm. The, the headland beyond the harbour, my father's flock. Look, you can just about make out the little dots. You concentrate on the peak of Arachnium. Got it. Point. There. Good lad. What about in the dark? Uh, uh, the sun's almost set now. Then what do you do? I, I don't... So, come here. Yeah? Get down low. That's it. Get yourself so this big stone's lined up with that gap in the parapet there. Right. What do you see? Ah, oh, a rack near. Exactly. Day or night, clear line of sight. Oh, clever. Thank you. Well, how will I know if it's the beacon? Could be a star. It'll be bang on the line, and it'll flicker. Right. You're on your own for four hours. I'm exhausted. Four hours exactly. Oh, don't you nod off. Sometimes they come up and check on us. Who does? The Gisthus. Seriously? Yes, he takes an interest. <sighs> when do you think it'll be? What? When do you think we'll see something? I mean, have you got a feeling? Have I got a feeling? Yes. Just wake me in four hours. Yep. And you don't have to whisper. It's secret, though, isn't it? I was told not to tell anyone. And anyway, I, I don't want to wake We're her. on two feet of solid brick here. What's right underneath us? Her bedroom. Her bedroom? You don't have to whisper.
Have you been here all the time? I, I mean, ever since they left? What, ten years? No. I've put in a year, though, non-stop. Well, on your own? I can't watch all the time. What happened to the one before me? He got scared. Scared? What's beyond Arachneum? Never you mind. No, but up there there's two others doing what we're doing, so where are they looking? Cape Spiri. Spiri? Good high cliffs there. Then over the Saronic Gulf to Mount Kithiran, across to Machistus on Eubea. That's where the fun starts. Because what is there between Mount Machistus and Troy? I I've never been out of Argos. I've never been on a boat. It's the Holy Aegean. So what do you do? I'll tell you. Veer north all the way up to Mount Athos, then across to Lemnos, and from there Mount Eda sticks out like a bird on a rock, right above Troy. Wow. That's ten beacons. Doesn't take two watchmen long to get a fire going, and the light leaps over valleys quick as a cat over a wall. So Troy falls. Of course it does. Calchas said. So it falls at sunset. It's barely dark, and we know about it. <sighs> the first to get the news. Then what do we do? We tell her. Clytemnestra? Yes. What? We just go and tell her? Simmer down. I've got instructions. Oh. Anyway, it's been a year. Might be another one yet. Well, could happen at any time. Agamemnon could be coming home any day now. What did you do to deserve this? What? How come they picked you? Oh, shepherd. I'm, I'm a shepherd. Oh? We're good sleepers. Day, night, hard ground, out in the open, in the rain. I don't care. When I wake up, I'm ready. Like that. You? They had me set all this up. I'm a fisherman, really. Know all the coastline for miles. Went round the Aegean planning where the beacons should go. Wow. So you're behind the whole thing? Sort of. Oh, it's brilliant. We'll see about that. Why are you so down on it all? You know how old farts like me are always saying things aren't what they were? Well, things aren't what they were. Besides, I've been up here a year. I want to go home and sleep in my own bed. Well, it's a war. Of course things are bad. Agamemnon's away. Everyone knows someone who's not coming back. But we will win. We've got all those warriors fighting for us. Ajax, Achilles, Menelaus, Nestor, Agamemnon, obviously. I don't care how strong the Trojans are. We'll smash them. A thousand ships? We sent a thousand ships. Well, a lot, anyway. Besides, the gods told Calchas, the prophet, didn't they? Troy will fall. And the sacrifice? What about it? Well, it was a pretty clear omen, wasn't it? You know a lot, don't you? Just what everyone knows. Keep going. Priam of Troy sent his son Paris to humiliate us by stealing Helen from Menelaus. Agamemnon raised a fleet to punish him. Calchas prophesied victory, but the wind wasn't good, so a white deer appeared for him to sacrifice, and the wind turned. Then they sailed with a thousand ships to bring back Helen and punish the Trojans. That was ten years ago, and any time now, Agamemnon will be back victorious. Sound familiar? A white deer? Yes. I've never heard that one before. No, that, that's what happened. How do you know? My father told me. So this all goes back to Paris and Helen? Yes. I was there, you know. You're joking. No. I used to be fishman for the palace. So I was there most days. There was a time when Menelaus was away. Paris was there as a guest. So it's just him and Helen in the palace. This girl wore sex on her like a perfume. And this young lad, your age, thought the world belonged to him. Then one morning, they vanished. Just like that, up and off like a couple of sparrows. Paris's ship gone from the harbour. <laughs> the panic. Servants petrified. Menelaus due back any day. I stayed clear for a while, but I had to go back eventually. It was dead calm, so I was rowing into the bay. I turned round to take a look, and there's Menelaus sat on the sand, sobbing. A great mess of wood and white cloth bobbing about in the water in front of him. It was his bed. He'd taken hold of his and Helen's massive great bed and dragged it through the palace, out of the door, over the rocks, all the way down to the beach. Took him two or three hours. Agamemnon tried to stop him, and Menelaus went for him, got him right on the side of the head, knocked him out cold. And then he just sat there on the beach for two days and nights. I suppose he'd wanted the bed to drift off. But with no wind, it was stuck right in front of him, like a miniature shipwreck. He's a big man, you know. Oh, I, 
Oh, I've never seen him. Big. And he just sat there and sobbed for two days straight. Shit. So Agamemnon vowed that Helen would be brought back. And, and she will. <laughs> Being with a woman like that's asking for trouble. What's happiness but a recipe for misery to come? What, you think it was the gods doing? No. It was Paris and Helen's doing. Alone in that house. Young, excitable, drunk. Where are the gods in that? <laughs> They're everywhere. They're everything that happens. Those stars up there, my being here now, Agamemnon's victory and bringing back peace. They're shaping everything. No wonder you're a good sleeper. You mean that assurance that we would win, that the prophet Calchas gave Agamemnon? Exactly. So there's our general in his tent, hungry for the fight, carrying the hopes of all those thousands of soldiers and the wind's not right. So Zeus speaks through his prophet. Men of Greece, you and your leader will bring back victory and peace. Then... Out of nowhere, a white deer appears. They offer it up, the wind turns, and off they sail towards their promised triumph. See? That's not what happened, though. Only the soldiers know this, and they're all in Troy. Or dead. Don't tell me you were there. Everyone was. The biggest force that's ever been seen was camped on the coast at Orlis, itching for war. But the wind was sending them mad. With that easterly, I was struggling in my little fishing boat. Those lumbering warships didn't stand a chance. They had nothing to do but wait. And eat fish. <laughs> I've never been so busy. There's nothing hungrier than a bored army. If you don't feed them, they'll start eating each other like rats in a hole. A week went by. The wind's still backwards. The atmosphere's getting nastier all the time. Eventually, Agamemnon had to speak. Let there be no doubt that this fleet of ours is blessed by Zeus. You are his messengers, his instruments. The gods saw what Paris did to Helen, and they want him punished. Zeus is on our side. Zeus sailed with us. Thousands of us, sat here polishing our spears. It's driving me nuts. Nothing you can do, though, is there? Can't sail in us. What's he saying? Uh, we're instruments of Zeus, apparently. Why does this win? Why, blah, blah. Yeah, why? Because the other gods are Why can't it be easy? Why can't we just we jump onto a boat, carve the sea in two on the back of a good northwesterly all the way to Troy, chuck some of the bastards into the sea, grab Ellen from the ruins of their stinking city, and piss off home again? It's not a good sign, is it? What? The wind? All I know is it's turned a battle-ready army into one enormous angry fish picnic that feels like it's never going to end. The moment this wind swings round, but Zeus, father of the gods, the god of the sky who eclipses the heavens themselves and holds the whole universe in just equipoise, Zeus will have it. everyone looking at those two eagles never seen them but they joined at the wingtip where did they come from swooped up from behind the hill where the palace is i've never seen two hovering together like that agamemnon and menelaus furies sent to hound paris for his crime you think they don't tell me they just happened to be there right on top of us Quivering like this. Something they're afraid to tell us. Oh, they've caught something. You see. No escaping them. What was it? The birds had plummeted. The air tearing at their feathers. Straight onto the rocks between the generals and us. We all felt it. A lurch in the stomach, as if we'd fallen out of the sky with them. Calchas let out a moan. But we still didn't know what had happened. All I could see was the faces of Agamemnon, Menelaus, Achilles, staring at the ground like the gods had scrawled some terrible truth there. Eventually, word filtered back. The eagles had hurtled straight down onto a hare, sure as a spear finding its own shadow. They pinned her to the rock, then tore her open. Oh. And guess what? She had a belly full of babies. <laughs> the birds ripped them out, swallowed them, they were born into an eagle's stomach. What did Calchas make of it? 
Agamemnon wouldn't let him speak to us at first. Looked like they were arguing. Calchas is the prophet. Let him tell us what he knows. Oh, don't worry. He'll have his say. Here he is. You have all seen this thing. It will speak out loud to you, even if I whisper, as your leader would have me do. Those eagles are yours. They are you. You saw them slay a hare and tear a clutch of creatures from her womb. The goddess Artemis saw it too, and she is bound to answer it. What does it mean, Calchas? You will sail from here, and you will capture Troy <laughs> in time. And Priam, its king, and even his cattle are as doomed as those leverets. The blood of Troy's livestock will spatter her walls scarlet, slaughtered by you, no beast left standing. The city, your toy. However, bloody prophet. There's always a however. Artemis will be angry. She loves the hunt, but despises slaughter. Those leverets were slaughtered. So, so Troy is a feast that Greece will choke on. What can you do? Prophecy is a sword, just like the ones you carry. You see your face in it? You cannot bend it. What I care about is this army mad with waiting. <laughs> this is the greatest force Greece has ever seen. <laughs> but this wind is laughing at us. We're wolves tethered to a stake. So what can you do? It's not a question of what. We go to war and some of us don't come back. We don't need a prophet to tell us that. The problem is not war. The problem is we can't get to war because we're stuck on this bastard beach skimming stone. Get our ships out of here, Carcass. Turn this wind. Turn the wind. What is it the gods want? It is a strange request. What is it? Justice looms and vengeance awaits. Vengeance? For a flower cut too soon. Oh, I don't need poetry, Carcass. What do the gods want? Turn the wind! There was something savage in the air. Those soldiers were desperate. I thought they were going to go for Calchas. Eventually, Agamemnon raised his hand. I'm not afraid of vengeance. I'm a soldier. Vengeance is the ground I walk on. Before you all, I make this vow. Whatever the gods want, it is theirs. So then Calchas said about the sacrifice? Yes. They went off to Agamemnon's tent to arrange it. And did the white deer just appear? Yes, and was sacrificed. And it worked? The wind turned the same day. They sailed that night. Oh, so there you are. The gods spoke. And what do they say? Vengeance looms. Well, it was the people who've died, wasn't it? Think of all the soldiers we've lost. All those urns that have come back full of ashes. I mean, we've paid our price. Look, why don't you sleep? I'll watch. <sighs> I don't think I'll be able to. I thought it was a special skill of yours. Oh, I'm too excited. This is like... It's like the centre of the world up here. I'm sitting right in the middle of everything, watching for the most important thing. Be the first to know. Then what? Uh, but run down, announce it to Queen Clytemnestra. Arachneum has spoken in flame. Troy has fallen. Sounds great. Then what? Well, the biggest party ever. Sacrifices, all the food you can eat, enough wine to get all the girls in Argos drunk, and I'll be the guy who saw the beacon. And then? Well, Agamemnon gets back. Are you the lad who spotted the beacon? Yes, Agamemnon, sir. Me and my friend. <laughs> uh, thank you, son. As a reward, I'm giving you a hundred sheep. And we don't even <laughs> notice our hangovers because we're too busy living happily ever after and tending our flocks. What is it with you? Our king is coming back and bringing peace. What's he coming back to? A, a city that's needed him. 
You said yourself things aren't what they were. Why do you think Clytemnestra is so fixed on the beacons? She wants the news as soon as possible. She doesn't want to be taken by surprise. Not with Aegisthus around. What do you think he's doing down there in the palace? The gardening? No, he, he's looking after Clytemnestra. Looking after her? And where's Orestes, the prince? With his sister in Phocis. That's where Iphigenia is, with him. In exile? Yes. He was in danger here. Someone could have taken him, used him as leverage. Or he might side with his father against her. What do you mean? All I know is I don't want whatever happens next. As fate thunders past, I just want to feel its breeze on my face. Instead, it feels like I'm strapped to its wheels. Now, get sleeping. I won't be able to now. All right. I'll line myself up just in case. Stone in line with the gap. In line with the little star. What little star? It's just above the parapet. Look. That's not a star. No? No, there's no star just there. Hesperus is round to the south. You didn't move the stone, did you? No, I, I didn't touch you it. see it flicker? That's a beacon. over with. Oh, so come on! I think I'm very scared. Oh, what of? She'll be overjoyed. We have to tell her. I know. I'll, I'll do it on my own, if you want. Just tell me where to go. No. Come on. Follow me. Where do we go? Indoors. A roof. Walls. I've forgotten what it was like. Uh, straight to her room? What, sit at the end of her bed and shake her away? Well, so? We keep going till we find someone. We saw the beacon. It's a soddy night. Oh, she'll be ecstatic. Agamemnon's been away for ten years, killing people and getting them killed. He sailed there on a tide of blood and that's how he'll come home. And I don't like it. He's won, though. It's over. No, it's over. Picture this. Paris arrives in Troy with Helen. They fled there, sick with excitement and fear, but at last they're through the gates in the safety of the palace and he sits her down and he says, It's over. Was it? We should find a guard. I'll tell her if you like. I don't mind. Fine. Only let it be good. Whatever happens, let it be good. Look, I can see light. There's one asleep. Sleep. I remember sleep. Hey, wake up. <coughs> what? Wake up, we've got news. Oh, where? Who are you? It doesn't matter, just run and tell the Queen, Troy has fallen. What? It's a city we've been besieging, weren't you told? Who are you? Just tell her, Troy is ours. Go How did you and get... tell her. I'll have to wake her. Yes. Is she expecting it? Only for ten years. Eleven by the time you're done dithering. Go! All right! But you stay here. Run! Poor sod. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Weren't you told? Right. Nearly done. We tell her what's what. Then I'm off home. This floor. It's beautiful. Bring the torch closer. Yeah. A friend of mine told me about these. It worked on them. Clytemnestra had them done after Agamemnon sailed. All those little pieces must take ages. Mosaics do. There's Aphrodite on her shell. Oh. Artemis with her bow. Zeus, thunderbolt. Wait, who's this? A young girl being pinned to a stone, surrounded by men. They've got a knife to her throat. There's blood everywhere. What? These old stories, there's no comfort in them. So? You're telling her, remember? 
Have you seen it? Clytem, Queen, Your Highness... Has word come at last? My lady, Mount Arachneum has spoken. On the line of the stone and the gap, it flickers. Speak clearly. Have you seen it? We have, Your Highness. Then Troy has fallen. <laughs> yes, yes. Your Highness, can you be sure? As if Agamemnon were whispering it into my ear. These aren't messengers or soldiers, Your Majesty. They've been nowhere near Troy. Guards! Wake the whole city. Empty the stores of incense and wine. I want a city of altars. A sheep sacrificed at every street corner. I want the town blanketed in bells and smoke. Troy has fallen. After ten years, my husband is coming home. Your Highness, I recognise this one. He's just a shepherd. And a bringer of good news. Or a gossip monger. A war has made us into a town of old women and excitable children. And which am I? Well, no. Do you think I'd turn the city's riches to smoke for a rumour? Oh. Troy fell to us. When do you think, you two, at uh, sunrise? No earlier. You can't possibly know that. And not a man out of breath. You tell him, you know the details. Beacons. Mount Eda, Lemnos, Mount Athos, Peperathos, Mount Candeli, Mount Machistos, Mount Kithiron. Forgive me, Your Highness. I would never have... Leave it. Go and help with the celebrations. I want you in charge of distributing the meat from the sacrifices to everyone in the city. Yes, straight away. Your Highness, it has been a long year for me. For all of us. Imagine. Yesterday, our men were camped outside the city gates like beggars, and now they can picnic in the palace. But they mustn't get carried away. They mustn't rile the gods. Zeus himself can't stop soldiers indulging. But let them close the temple doors. Leave the altars alone. No looting, no pilfering souvenirs. We want our men home safe, and they'll need the gods with them for that. It's a high price. So much Greek blood in return for that woman. But if at last it puts an end to the killing, then good can prevail. That's all I ask. Your Highness... I've watched diligently for you for a whole year. One more thing. It's very close to my heart. Anything, Your Highness. Go to my stables. There's a black heifer there, a beautiful creature, sleek as a seal. Take her round to the altar stone in front of the palace. Anoint her with wine and barley and sacrifice her there for Agamemnon's safe return. Take this strip of cloth. It's special to me. I want you to put it around one of the cow's horns. The offering is for Zeus. Say, to Zeus, who in his wisdom knows when to end the cycle of bloodshed. Is that clear? Yes, Your Highness. And stay there until Agamemnon comes. Watch until you see his arrival. Then come and tell me. Now go. Yes, Your Highness. Uh, congratulations, Your Highness. Congratulations. Does one congratulate a queen? Oh, she touched my hand. Yes, I saw that. Have you got the feeling back yet? Oh, she's amazing. Show me the thing she gave you. Those eyes. Oh, did you hear that? She wants the bloodshed to stop. A piece of yellow cloth. Strange. Some precious silver thing, I'd understand, but this its not even neatly cut, just torn off. Have you got a knife? It's filthy, too. Must have been a beautiful colour once. Oh, I'll need one for this heifer. Yeah, I'll get one off this guard. Give, give me that. Wait. You, we need your knife. We have special orders from the Queen for a sacrifice to Zeus. Do you? Yeah, so give me your knife. And who are you? Look, if you hadn't heard this yet, you soon will. Agamemnon returns. After all this time... Your king. Yeah, and yours. The sacrifice is everywhere, then. And we're in charge of the main one. If he's coming back, I'll need the knife myself. I don't think you understand. This is an order from the Queen. A sacrifice for Agamemnon's safe return. Well, that's worth the loan of a knife. <sighs> we all want him back in one piece, don't we? You'll need the scabbard, too. What else did she say? <sighs> To Zeus, who in his wisdom knows when to end the cycle of bloodshed. There. Do you think he will? Troy is ours. That means enough people must have been killed. Now you'd better find your superior. There's a lot of work to be done. Do you know who that was? 
Oh, some condescending arsehole. Well, that's worth the loan of a knife. That was Aegisthus. What? Oh, don't joke about things like that. I'm not. Come on! Are you certain? I've seen him before. He's been up to the roof. Look at the knife. Shit! Silver work on that handle. Shit! You've got some balls. Now, let's find this animal, get this over with and get out of here. What did I say to him? You were charm itself. Anyway, he seemed happy enough to lend it to you. Here we are. Though everyone will at least get a mouthful, but there's bugger all to celebrate. This is mayhem. Right, where's this cow? Come on, snap out of it. Oh, I need you. Yes. Yes. All right. Over here. This will be the one she wants. Yearling heifer. <laughs> Good broad muzzle, high head, nice neat shoulder blades. Thought you were sweet. There, you pick things up. Come on, girl. It's your big day. No, it's not. It's some sick dream. Agamemnon sunning himself on a beach in Ilium. Oh, you? Yeah. I should be asking you, making off with the Queen's beast. <laughs> We've got instructions. From the top? Yes. From the gods? As good as. Prove it! Yeah. Aegisthus gave us his knife. That good enough for you? I'll go and find the wine and the barley. Untie the cow. Heifer. So you saw Aegisthus? Yes. How did he seem? Honestly, arrogant. Not rattled by the rumours, then? They're not rumours. Agamemnon is coming back. His shame would sink him before he'd even got his sails up. Shame? Yes, shame. You're mad. Clytemnestra's convinced, so you should be too. Oh, and you spoke to her, did you? Yes, we did. Now leave us alone. Right. Barley. Skin of wine. Hmm, smells like a good one. We can go. Yeah, about time. This one's touched. Right, you beauty. You're coming with us. Why would she talk to some shepherd boy like you? <laughs> she gave me the words for the blessing. She touched my hand. She gave me a token for the sacrifice. Something very personal. This is a great day for her. If you can't see that, I suggest you piss off out the city. Come on. Was it a strip of yellow cloth? What? The token she gave you. A scrap of yellow cloth. Yes. Why does my thumb so long? She's coming with us. What? She could be anyone. The Queen asked us. Come to... with us. To sacrifice. Why should we sacrifice anything for him? We're doing this. Leave her. We've no choice. The Queen told us to. Will you see Clytemnestra again? I think she'll want the cloth back. Yes, she will. I'd like to see her. So come on. Just to see her. You know your way around? I've lived here for ten years. In the palace? In the stables, right where you found me. I help with the milking. They give me food. Good arrangement. I live. That's all I ask most days. Show me the cloth. When we get there. How did you... I've seen it before. Where? At Orlis. You were at Orlis? When the fleet sailed? Everyone was. <laughs> yes, but not women. There were some. <sighs> now, show me the cloth. It's quite some nestors. It's very Show personal. me! Lovely flower. Cut too soon. How did you know what she'd given us? I was the one who found it. Where? I found it on the beach. <sighs> Look, we should make a start. You were there then. <sighs> Since you're here, you might as well help. I'm not spilling any blood, least of all for him. You saw it, didn't you? We need to make a start. What's this blessing for? Agamemnon's safe return. Make all the offerings to all the gods you like. That's not going to happen. You can't say that. What does he know? Nothing, really. So is he just going to cheer along with all the others? Why shouldn't I? What can you tell me? You expect us to believe that you were at all this? There were quite a few women like me there. It was good business for us. All those soldiers, bored, away from their families. Oh. Yes, oh. I've been hanging around the general's mess. You never know. And they don't often mind. I was waiting in Agamemnon's tent and then suddenly it, it all goes quiet, this weird hush. I look out and everyone's looking up at the sky. Then Calcas starts yelling and the soldiers go berserk. Whatever the gods want, it is theirs! You are a Spartan for them! Sort up your ass, you Athenian prick! Does your mother know you're here, short ass? Yours does! She told me what I was doing at Stop! 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 Stop!
Malus Galcus! Not here. In your tent. You're a coward, Galcus. Whatever he says the gods demand, they will have it today! And we sail tonight! Yeah! Suddenly, Agamemnon and Calcas are heading for the tent. A panic and duck into the store at the back. And I hear everything. So what is it, this unspeakable thing? No music, no feasting, no fire. What then? Something savage and silent. What do I need to do? I tell you, and everything changes. You saw them out there. Anything rather than this. What does Artemis want? Iphigenia. She wants your daughter, Iphigenia. And if I give her Iphigenia, Troy is ours? Yes. What will you do? There are 10,000 soldiers out there, bred for war, bent on it. If they don't do some killing soon, they'll start on each other. I'll do what I must. What will you do to get her here? Never forget this. She's the joy of my house, Carcass. But fate has me skewered. Like the Mestra must not know until after it's done. Messenger! Agamemnon? Go to the Queen. Tell her Achilles wants to forge a bond of filial loyalty with his general and wishes to marry Iphigenia. Tell the girl I want to talk to her. We'll hold the ceremony here. Her mother must stay at the palace. Yes, my lord. If the wind doesn't turn, Carcass, you mouthpiece, I'll feed you to those soldiers. Can I make Troy pay for this? You will. This isn't true. Shut up and listen. Agamemnon told Menelaus and the others. No one spoke up. It wouldn't have done any good. He was past listening or thinking. He called out to the soldiers and they went mad. They started banging the ground with their lances. They were like that all day. I still don't know if they knew. Had he told them? Yes. He gambled that they'd like it. They did. They went mad. They'd have done anything for him. I had no stomach for it. I'm a fisherman, not a warrior. I left. I couldn't. Agamemnon dismissed his men and came back into the tent, so I was trapped there. As long as he didn't move, I couldn't either. So I was squatting there for, what, three, four hours? He just sat there, sighing. As if by sighing hard enough, he could overturn it all. And then suddenly he got up, so I looked out, and he was walking towards Iphigenia. She must have just arrived. I saw her framed in the doorway, a yellow dress billowing out behind her, a smile on her like a perfect wave breaking. I couldn't take my eyes off her. Her father took her by the arm and turned back towards the tent. Where's your most beautiful soldier, father? Where's my Achilles? Iphigenia, my love. Are we going to be married before you all go? We can't go. The wind is still wrong. Good. Why would I want Achilles to leave? He's a warrior. He has to fight. I know. Let him go and fight and come back tomorrow, without a bruise on him. And we have to subdue Troy. Subdue it? I thought you were going to hold a knife to its throat, make it beg for mercy, break it. We will, my love. But you have to help us. Come on, then. Give me a sword. We can't sail without you. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. I'd like to tuck you safe under my arm like this. But the gods won't let me have you. They want you for themselves. They can't have me. I belong to Achilles now. We can only sail once you die. That will be years. But we have to sail. When? Today. Today? So no wedding? It's a prophecy, my love. It's the gods working through you. It's... Calchas! I need to hear this. Calchas! What is the prophecy exactly? Your blood turns the wind. <sighs> the Greeks sail, suffer and win. So we need you. Go on, Calchas. And then, out of sight, justice looms. So this isn't justice. This is destiny. Justice is waiting for you later. And she walked out towards the beach where those men were waiting for her. They'd put together a sort of altar 
They took her by the hands, one man on each side. These were men she knew. She'd served them at dinner. They gagged her. She didn't struggle. Her dress only ripped because one of those men stepped on it. They lay her face down on the stones. The wind got under this yellow linen and threw it around like flames. I saw her legs, bare for a moment. Then before there was a chance for anything, Agamemnon's arm gave a sort of twitch and her blood was pouring out of her. So much of it, it didn't sink in. It ran over the sand. This isn't true! The wind calmed, then swung round. That same night, the whole crazed city of soldiers was crammed onto ships and heading east to Troy. I want to ask someone else. Everyone who was there is either worm food in Troy or on a ship heading home. Nobody talks about this. It can't be true. The girl in the mosaic. Oh, no. Yes. Give me the knife. <laughs> hold her, hold her. There, there, that's it. Still, still. To Zeus, who in his wisdom knows when to end the cycle of bloodshed. To Zeus, who in his wisdom knows... Don't you when dare! <laughs> that wasn't for Agamemnon, that was for her. And all those thousands had gone. I found this scrap of her dress on the sand and I took it to the palace. Word had reached them. They already knew. They wouldn't let me near Clytemnestra. You're a fool. Stay away. Finally, I showed them this. Said her mother ought to have it back. No one wanted to take me to her, though. I had no idea where to go. Bloody great palace. I couldn't find her. And the air... It was as if a, a huge thunderstorm had been stilled and bottled up in those corridors. I could barely walk. Eventually, I heard... I heard something. Opened a door. It was their chamber. She was sitting on the bed holding a shoe, a sandal. One of his, I suppose. But it was in two pieces. She'd cut it clean down the middle of the sole. On the beach, I found this. He got my daisy. I saw her just before. She looked beautiful. She was smiling. May the gods of war preserve him for me. I don't think she even saw me. I went back and told her guards she'd said I was to be looked after. They weren't going to check. I've been here ever since, out of sight, with the animals where you found me. He is coming back. We saw the flame. Oh, something from the gods, was it? The gods that go about sticking their deathless dicks in anything that takes their fancy. What would they know about losing a daughter? It was Beacons. He is coming. Beacons? So he really is on his way? Yes! He must be even braver than they say. And you want a parade. You want him borne aloft by a throng of adoring peons, wetting themselves because they're heroes home. Listen. For everyone cheering mindlessly in the streets, they're before at home, staring at the pot of dust they got back from Troy instead of their son, muttering all for someone else's wife. Paris was wrong. That makes Agamemnon right. Look at all these people offering sacrifices. Look closer. They stop grinning when they face away from the palace. Oh, I don't care what you think. Agamemnon is coming back. I don't want him. He's a curse and I don't want him. Where are you going? Wash this blood off. And I'm tired. I'm so tired. Me too. We have to stay. I know, I know, she said. But I wish it were over. I just want some calm. See that headland, Cassandra? What pleasures the Furies have for me. Troy spits me out of its broken mouth and I end up where? On the arm of this soldier who ruined my city. It's an island. Spetses. And he's done worse. Twelve leagues northwest. Up the gulf, past there. My city. They'll be waiting. He's excited now. He's like a boy. A king returns victorious. I don't think there's any greater joy 
Have you missed your family? Of course I have. Your wife? Yes. Your daughter? I miss her the most. Will she be there to meet us? No. Why not? The gods. They decided a long time ago. You had a choice. There's always a choice. Apollo decided he wanted me, but I made a choice. I wouldn't have him breathing his hot god's breath all over me. Let her have her visions, he said, but no one will ever believe them. It's as if he'd lashed me to the prow of this ship. I can see what's ahead, but I yell news of it into the wind for no one. She is going to give you a bath. What? Who? Your wife. No, she isn't. She's going to plant herself at the top of the palace steps and give a big speech. She'll have an offering ready and slay the beast herself. She will give you a bath and wrap you in a big cloth. <laughs> you don't know my wife, do you? No, but I know. What do you know? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I know. People of Argos! Wake up! Are you up from the port? Yes. Where is everyone? Is he on his way? You, you mean Agamemnon? Of course, Agamemnon. Yes, he is, but... Uh... Alas, how long? Within the hour. You better go and tell her. Well, I'm going. Tell who? Don't hang around in there. What do you mean? I don't know. Just come back out. I'm waiting for you, and then we're out of here. I'll be right back. Tell who? Clytemnestra. That's my job. And anyway, you don't know yet. Yes, we do. Only because I told you. No, we knew. Word came. Whose word? I'm the Herald. I've only just left him at the port. I was first off the ship, galloped all the way here. Beacons. Beacons? So the you're city's up... been celebrating for a while now, can't you tell? Everyone's sleeping it off. He's not coming, is he? Someone who needs my news. Thank you. Right. And you can keep your beacons. I can't talk. I've seen things. Greeks! You have known joy until now! Hear this! Your king is coming home! What do you say to that? It's a shout into a very dark cave, and the echo won't be long coming back. He has toppled the towers of Troy! What hasn't been ploughed into the ground is in flames! Yeah. Paris's house is a heap of blood-stained stones! Yeah. And the sorry flock of Trojans that are still alive wish they weren't! Yeah. Their city has been scratched from the earth like a scab! Yeah. And Agamemnon is coming home! Agamemnon! Agamemnon! Is Paris dead? Face down in the dust! I almost envy them. Who? The dead. Don't say that. No, really. Which is the pretty of you? The peaceful Trojan sky through a few inches of dirt or this? Don't. Look at this cloth and tell me this cheering means anything good. I mean, what hope is there? That she's forgotten? Is he on his way? Yes, he's definitely coming. Good, I'm ready for him. Within the hour, they said. Fetch down the embroideries and the bath needs more water. Oh, that bath. I remember seeing the block of marble they carved it from. He'll be hot and dirty from the road. It's beautiful. I want him to be able to slip off his clothes and step straight in. Let ten years of war wash off. Step out and straight into my arms. You're a young man, you understand. I long to feel him grip and shudder beneath me. I do. The embroideries, Your Highness. Where shall they go? By the door, ready. I've never seen anything like them. Those colours. We've had them for nearly 30 years. A gift from the townswomen. Some wove the cloth yards and yards of it. 
Others ground madder root, cut open thousands of shellfish and collected sheep's blood for the red dyes. Others embroidered it. They were meant for Iphigenia's birth. She was nearly walking by the time it was all ready. We hung them in her room. She slept under them. They're beautiful. They're for him to walk on. Walk on? When he steps out of the carriage, I want to see him walk on them. The bath is full enough. What are people saying about the war? Uh, they're saying that uh, Paris was wrong, so something had to be done, but that it has hurt. I heard a story once about a man who found a lion cub on a mountain somewhere. He found the cub, took it home. It was no bigger than a pussycat. It would sit on his arm, purring. His children loved it. It took scraps of food from their fingers, licked their faces. It padded round the house and made them laugh, chasing flies. It grew up. They wrestled with it for fun. And then one day, the lion got bored or just stopped pretending. You know how this ends. It slaughtered all their sheep in one night. And then it turned on the children, tore their throats out, shook them like dolls, killed too much to eat. Things have consequences. I should go. Before I go, um, my friend, he, he's been watching for a year. He's worried about his boat. He sleeps badly. Could he go home? One more thing, and then your lives are your own. Anything. Don't let Agamemnon out of his carriage until I'm there with the cloth. Give me time. Yes. Clytemnestra. Aegisthus. Are you ready, my love? I nearly am. It's gone quiet. Everyone's just waiting now. The priest came round with more of the altar food. There's some here if you want. Yeah, I'm not hungry. No, me neither. It's good. Mm. Oh, sorry you didn't get to deliver your news. Forget it. I did some shouting. Crowd liked it. Did Menelaus make it? I don't know. Well, it must be news. What happened to him? I don't know where he is. Nobody does. What do they know? He's gone, all right? Gone dead? Did a storm take him? A ten-year tunnel of blood and pain. I crawl out of it with good news. And you give me faces like I'm serving you a turd on a plate. And anyway, it turns out you already know. I don't even get to tell the Queen, and now you're so bent on the bad stuff, it's like all you ever dreamed of was disaster. Well, I got loads of this shit if you want it. The Furies haven't been idle. Our boys are as dead as theirs. If you wave someone off, there's a good chance he's still there, in half rotten pieces. Or in one piece, but in a ditch with a spear hole in his face. On the few nights I could sleep, I woke up still sticky with blood, sometimes crying. Get a fire hot enough, and you can use severed fingers for firewood. More? I wasn't on Menelaus' ship coming back. First day out, the storm blew up. All night, the wind went at us like wolves in a flock of sheep. It lasted so long, we forgot the world had anything in it but wind and water. By the time it was calm, there was no Aegean, just corpses and bits of ship. Who knows who was lost with the sea turned upside down like that? Menelaus might be inside a whale or dashed on a rock or safe on some island, convinced that we drowned. I know too many who did. Enjoy the party. Come on. I wanted to thank him, but I couldn't think what for. Can I go home now? One more thing, she said. We have to keep Agamemnon in the carriage. What? Why? She says he's too good for the ground. Our city, Argos. Look tiny from the ship, like a flock of sheep tripping down the hillside. Who's the misery in the carriage with him? His trophy. She looks terrified. So does he. No one mentions it. And no one's forgotten it either. Don't let him take you back to her. The girl in yellow said. 
When I left, Greece was humiliated, ashamed. And here I am, in his carriage, headed for her palace. But look, not a trace of that left. Celebrating now, altars lit. What does he want me to say? They've forgotten? They love you? It's drawing a line under the past. They've all come out for me. They don't see. They're not even looking. If they looked... People of Argos! My beloved wife will be waiting for me. But even before I see her, I want to greet you. It's you who are my true home. And they want to shake that hand? Isn't it sticky with blood? You're staying in the carriage! But that's not where the stench of blood is from. Who are you to stop me? The city stinks of it. A king greeting his people is a force of nature. The palace. Matched only by a people greeting their king. Stay where you are to receive our tributes. Argos has already given everything on the battlefield. Some have sacrificed more than others. Some we won't see again gave everything. Some of us have given years of painful waiting. Some have given up fathers, brothers, husbands, children. So don't trust us. Don't take a face at face value. There are people here who look happier than they feel, cheering hard to convince you of something, but you won't be fooled. You'll recognize doubt. You've seen it in your people's eyes before. You've seen judgment, anger. Ten years ago, people were saying behind your back, why drag our sons to their deaths for some woman? But now you're home, a hero, in a beautiful gold carriage, a trophy of victory sitting humiliated next to you. What could be wrong? <sighs> Might I stand, at least? Yes. This woman is right. Ten years of war is a lot to ask of any people. Too much. But seeing you all here, I now know it's over. Yes, my love. It's over. A fury. A woman. A fury. Clytemnestra. You're talking to your people. They've missed you. Let me say to all of you, this period of suffering has lasted too long already. What would be the point of recrimination? This is a time to move forward. It is. She reeks of suffering and of blood. You brought me a gift. The palace steps are running with it. You know how soldiers are. As soon as the battle's over, they melt. They gave me the best of what they found in the rubble of Troy. She has no family now, no home. Be kind to her. I promised her you'd give her the same welcome as me. You three, you were kind enough to take care of the sacrifice. Take care of her now, please. Take her in, give her something to eat and drink. I'll send someone for her when she's rested. Yes, your highness. Not into the palace. It's all right. I'm not going into the palace. The girl said not to. Don't worry. We'll take you round. <gasps> That's the dress. You're holding the dress! What have you done to her? <sighs> Nothing. I touched her dress. <gasps> it scared her. Oh. She's scared. <gasps> Look after her. <gasps> we will. I don't want any harm coming to her. <sighs> uh. Look, all of you. This is the man I love. And for ten years, the only sign of life I've had from him have been reports of death. Where the spears... <laughs> no! What happened there? She saw this piece of the dress. How would she know what... No, don't take me in there. Don't worry. What's your name, my love? Cassandra. Don't take me in there. No. no. We're going round the side here. It's all right. No. Safe here. It's all over. No, it isn't. It's been started. It isn't finished. That yellow, that dress. Do you know where it's from? Shh. Yes. <gasps> Shh. I know what it means. I know what will happen. 
But it won't be believed. She's not well. And it can't be changed or ignored. He's treading on a path of blood. She's in bits. Straight mm. from a war, stuck in a ship with that bastard. No. She means the embroideries. I saw them. She'll ask him in. With the city watching, he can't say no. He will take off his sandals and walk to her on the red fabric that was the girl's. You're the scourge of Troy. Why should you tread on the ground like the rest of us? Treatment like this should be kept for the gods. Don't ask me to rile them. Oh, the gods adore you. She can't let me be the warrior. She wants a fight of her own. No, you're the hero. No one's taking that away from you. Just do this one thing for me. Does it matter so much to you? Slip your sandals off and walk to me. On these embroideries we both treasure. Do you remember them? Do you? Of course. Come home to me. Don't leave again. And he will walk into the palace for the last time. The people will cheer, but without knowing why. He must have gone in. She has a bath for him. She does. I saw it. How would she know about that? The water will be the last thing he feels before the linen and the knife. Let me get a look at you. Oh, these scars. You've been through so much. What's this one? A spear. I thought you had armor. That won't stop a spear. It'd be sharp enough. Did it bleed? It did. Don't step into the bath. Don't! The water is cold like Acheron. She's all jumbled. He sinks below the water to pretend for a moment that she's not there. Oh. I wanted someone from the family here. Orestes is with his uncle. So Aegisthus came to welcome you when you've had your bath. Aegisthus? Aegisthus is in there. Yes, he is. How does she know all this? The fathers were brothers. Thyestes and Atreus. Thyestes had three sons. No, no, he had one, Aegisthus. Before him, two other sons. No, I, I don't... On the floor. Sons on the floor? Well, why on the Go floor? Go and look through there on the floor. Through here? In the mosaic? How do you know these things? <laughs> there is a man eating and falling backwards. Off his chair, yes. Yeah. That's Thyestes. Aegisthus' father? Yes. The man feeding him is Atreus. Agamemnon's father? Atreus is feeding Thyestes his children. Thyestes was made to eat his own children. He had slept with Atreus's wife. Did you know this? It's years ago. It's ancient history. Aegisthus is here now. Is recent history any better? Why care so much about Agamemnon's past? You want his future? You just... No, I want you to stop. He gets out of the bath. She tangles him in a net, a white cloth that isn't white for long. No, it's riddles. She stands in front of him and holds a knife behind him. Now you're clean. Now you're ready. I'm holding the sheet for you. Step into me. Who? She's not a mother, not a wife. There's no word for what she is. Her word for welcome. It's murder. Step into me, my love. You don't believe me? We don't understand you. Agamemnon will be killed. How? Why do I try? If you believe me, it changes nothing. Make some sense and we might believe you. The murderer, how is he going to do it? He! No! She does it! You sacrificed so much to go to war. And now you're all wrapped up in my arms. Oh, you heroic bundle. Yes. Aegisthus! Don't call him. He wanted to watch. What? Clytemnestra. <laughs> what is this? Release me. Welcome back, Agamemnon. This is my welcome. <laughs> and your daughters. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh! <sighs> 
It's too late. He's dead. Ooh. It was too late ten years ago. Someone from her family in the war. Apollo, you bastard. This hurts. I'm a leper infected with the truth. If I tear off this gown, will the future leave me alone at last? Cassandra! And what did it mean anyway, this shit you wrote? But no one, no one, not one person ever believed me. If Agamemnon deserved to die, then his whore certainly does. And the timing. I could have been a prophetess in a golden time when the future held some joy or promise. But no. My poisoned gift comes to me the day Paris comes home with doom on his arm. I don't care what horrors you've seen in Troy. So the future opens up to me, and what is it? This will be worse. We don't understand you, Cassandra. Hold her, Aegisthus. And now, it's me. Cassandra. There. Clytemnestra wants to welcome you. I know. She wants you to come. Now. I know. Don't let Agamemnon take you back to her. The beautiful girl in yellow. Don't go into the palace. You warned me, but you couldn't have saved me. The queen is waiting. I know she is. This is new. A prophecy for me. I struggle. I slip in some blood and my head cracks open on a marble floor. Cassandra, come here. I know what happens. I'm his whore. Troy was nothing. Hold her, Aegisthus. My life's going like a damp cloth wiping away a chalk mark. So is Agamemnon... She didn't mean now. She meant he will die sometime. And when he does, it will be for the blood he shed at Troy. Maybe they have understood something. The gods leaned into Agamemnon and whispered, History's hand is on your back. Now go. Did you expect him to look him in the eye and refuse? He had a choice. He killed Iphigenia. He could have not done that. We have to go in there. Oh, we need to know for sure what's happened. Oh, it's obvious. She's plotted this. No, we don't know that. I saw the embroidery, the bath, the sheet. It's their family history, but it's all over us. I'm not going to let we murderous bastards know. take over our city. I'd rather die. Is that the Queen? Yes. You should go and see. We should go and see. I don't want to. We can't not, can we? No. What's that smell? Sacrifice. It smells like a sacrifice. <laughs> she will explain. I stabbed him twice, through his back. After his legs buckled, I stabbed him again in the neck, and he vomited up this black puddle of blood onto my dress. The last of him. I'll wash it out and he'll be gone. He is your husband. Was he that when he killed my daughter? He's our king. He's not a king. He's a corpse. Killing him has made me happy. Everyone will loathe you. You three. The whole city will turn against you, cast you out. Will you? Because when this waste of bone murdered his own child, my darling Iphigenia, when he put a knife through her neck, you didn't cast him out. You cheered and you carried him shoulder high to the ships. Some people did. 
He came home expecting thanks for what he did, so if you threaten me with rebellion or whatever else you dream up, don't forget that the gods are right behind me here, waiting to teach you all the different ways you're wrong. When I'd finished with him, I still wasn't satisfied. I needed something else. She will show them what's left of me. See her now. She struggled and slipped, stupid girl. Then I stabbed her. It filled a gap. She knew. It's true. She didn't seem surprised. Who are you? She will remember her daughter. The girl dressed in yellow. I gave you this. Ten years ago. Yes, you did. Let me hold it. You saw her wearing this, didn't you? Yes. Wasn't she beautiful? Yes. And she will try... Do you want to clean him up? ...to make it end here. He'll need a burial. But it can't be the end. We'll take his body. Not yet. There are days, aren't there, when you start to doubt the world's been put together right. The gods seem to be asleep. But look at this. Everything in its place. All this blood has come out of him. The man whose father put everything out of balance. Atreus served my father his own children to eat. Did he know this? Yes. Good. Now I need you to hear it from me. He hid my stepbrother's fingers at the bottom of the pot to make sure my father had... had swallowed some before he found out what he'd done. He held up their heads to prove it. And when my father saw, he kicked the table away, fell backwards, screamed, vomited. Are you picturing that? So when I watched from that door there, this felt right. Agamemnon screamed, fell. He kicked just about, he vomited. And now it's over. The boy will mourn Agamemnon. This is no kind of death for a king. What do you know about King's shepherd, boy? Nothing is solved. This can only get worse. This is murder, not justice. They will try for answers. How did we get here? Helen, I hope you're happy now, wherever you are. As if all the blood in Troy weren't enough. Oh, when I told that one Troy was ours, he was punching the air. It's not just Helen, a decade of war, Thyestes' children, Iphigenia, now Agamemnon, killing breeds itself. It's this family. New wounds come before the last one's healed, so there's no scab. We just bleed. It can only be Zeus. If our queen killed Agamemnon, then Zeus must have willed it. What makes you think it was me? No. I was possessed by the furies of revenge. They've taken three children already and now they called for him. This is no kind of death for a king. He got what he deserved, child. So we're all just sucking at ruins, ugly tits forever, are we? What's this? I see a carriage, pulled by thundering horses. In it, a young man who comes from exile. Thank you, Apollo. A young man will come. I thought there was a shape. I was on the roof under the stars and I thought I knew how it all fitted. But you've made mayhem for us. He'll be drawn by the stench of his father's blood. Killing doesn't purge anything. Anger's like the teeth in a corpse. You can burn the body, but they won't go away. Burn more bodies, you just collect more teeth. This is where it stops. And the young man will bring a sword. This ruin... The spirit of death, the furies that have thinned us out. Let them go and hack at some other family tree. You people will regret this. Come on, it's time we left. Orestes will teach you about regret. He's too late. He couldn't save his father. He will come here. He will come here, drawn by the stench of this blood, and he'll bring a sword. Get out. (sighs) Now. All of you. Come. Go back to bed where you've been these ten years and Orestes will stab you awake! <laughs> we should have silenced them too. Shh, my love. The debt's been paid and we're in charge now. 
We will put this all in order. We will wipe up this blood and you won't be able to see where it was. We will make it all right. Drawn by the stench of his father's blood, he will come here. And he will bring a sword. In Agamemnon by Simon Scarderfield after Aeschylus, the chorus were Arthur Hughes, Philip Jackson and Carolyn Pickles. Clytemnestra was played by Leslie Sharp and Agamemnon was Hugo Spear. Cassandra was Anna Maria Marinka. Calchas, Carl Johnson. Aegisthus, Sean Murray. And Iphigenia was Georgie Fuller. The Herald was John Norton and other parts were played by Steve Toussaint and Harry Jardine. The music was created and performed by the percussionists of the BBC Concert Orchestra, Stephen Webberley, Alistair Malloy and Stephen Wibley, and the singer was Adriana Feshteu. Sound was by Colin Guthrie, and the director was Sasha Yevtushenko. <laughs>